Hello and welcome back to another tutorial by Cross Industries. My name is Sean speaking. Alright, today's tutorial is going to be on disk defragmentation and disk cleanup. This is going to be a great help to those who have sluggish computers. Alright, what you want to do, I'm on Windows 8 right now. This is a consumer preview for 64-bit. Alright, I'm going to go to the desktop. Now, note, this will work on a Windows Vista computer. A Windows XP computer or even a Windows 7 computer they're all the same they all have this feature alright you want to bring up my computer right click and drive doesn't matter as long as you have one that's not been doing this before uh, most commonly you want to do it on a C drive which is your Windows drive where everything is stored alright as you see I click properties on the right click alright on this tab you'll see a lot of info about the drive you have use space free space and then it's gonna give you a nice little fancy graph alright ignore all that come down here to this graph click disk cleanup it's gonna give you a minute it's gonna check through everything it can to see what it can take away from your computer without harming it uh, this includes but it's not limited to your cache temporary files from install files uh, previous service pack updates, previous random miscellaneous updates for Windows, um, any files that you save, they usually leave a temporary file behind. It will get rid of that and help boost up the speed of your computer again. It also saves space on the drive. All right, this does take a few minutes to calculate, uh, but give it time. Give it time. All right, now on this, you want to select as much as possible. All right. It's going to give you some default options by Windows. Uh, you can either leave it like that or select them all like I normally do. Alright, now if you can see, I've done this quite a few times already, so I have little to no uh, disk gain from this. I have 102 megabytes. This is just random files I haven't cleaned up already. Uh, just click OK at the bottom once you've selected all these. Uh, if you want, you can click. It's going to give you a description for what each of them does. Uh, and we can go into detail about that later uh, but once that's done you click OK uh, it's gonna ask you in a pop-up window are you sure you want to permanently delete these files yes because they're not needed uh, unless you for some strange reason want to go back to a temporary file that was created there is no need for you to save these files any longer click delete uh, this may take a few minutes it's gonna delete everything for you and clean up your space on your drive alright that is done the next option that you can do I highly recommend it but you should really only do it once a month that is the only prime time uh, at the latest every six months uh, most people do this probably one to three months alright you wanna click tools on the tab at top alright you want to under optimize and defragment drive click optimize this takes a minute to pop up give it some time give it some time in the meantime if you're having problems with your computer uh, more specifically windows itself loading incorrectly or slow or sluggish uh, there's this nice feature within windows if you can load up windows still uh, error checking this will check all the windows system files alright now what I mean by system files anything that is required during the boot or the basic function of Windows not any startup programs that you have uh, nothing customized wise so it's not gonna affect the performance of your computer it will just check to see if everything is there and working properly uh, you do want to do that probably once a year if you are having problems alright it is not a needed function though you will need administrator uh, permissions uh, if you're just a regular user please contact your system admin or whoever owns the computer to do this for you All right, this might be taking a little bit longer alright here it is optimized drives I have three drives here this last one ignore it completely this is on mine most of the time uh, this is what I have stored away for um, extra system swap for the memory and random junk files um, 
I have to have this on mine. But here's the Windows Drive, C Drive. All right, as you can see, it was last run on the 15th. This was done when I installed Windows 8. Uh, it does it automatically, and there's no files to defragment once Windows puts itself on your computer. So we're going to run this anyway. First, before all else, yes, you can click optimize right away. It's going to do the same function, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will be clicking analyze. You will need an admin function for this. Alright, as you can see it's fairly quick on mine. I have almost nothing on a stride. Alright, needs optimization 15% fragmented. What this means is you have a lot of files that are separated and scattered. This doesn't mean your files that you can see. These are the files you cannot see. Uh, these files cause disruption in the drive. When your drive spins up, if you have a regular hard drive, not an SSD, if you have an SSD or a solid state drive, this will not do anything for you. It is actually recommended you do not run defragmentation when you have a solid state drive. Uh, the difference between a solid state drive and a regular hard drive with an optical disk, the optical disk reads in layers. The solid state drive is a stored partition of files. It will not change once it is powered off. Uh, so there is no need to change it around. There, they do have software out there that does it for the solid state drives, uh, but there is no need. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click this drive and click optimize. It's going to analyze it again. It will make a few passes. Yeah, it's not going to do anything to watch this. It does take time. Mine should probably go fairly quick. It's only been about three days since it has been run. Uh, you can do multiple drives at the same time. I don't recommend it. It will take up a lot of time and uh, usually it takes up a lot of memory in the background. Alright, at the bottom here though, we can skip to this right now. Scheduled optimization. For all of you that have horrible memory, <laughs> which is a lot of you out there unfortunately, uh, just joking around with this, but this is a great feature Windows has put in. Notice, I said Windows. Yes, Windows has put this in it is not a separate program alright I have mine to do it weekly uh, you can do monthly as well it doesn't matter or daily um, do not recommend daily though alright you can choose different drives to op pardon me, optimize on those uh, scheduled dates you can run on the schedule or you can run it manually it doesn't matter mine's already been chosen for me weekly I'm actually gonna switch this to monthly and click OK. All right, as you can see, it's still on pass one. All right, there is about five to six passes, depending on how fragmented your computer is. Uh, each pass goes deeper into the subfolders of that drive. Uh, on the first pass, it's usually fairly long. It will be about the same for the next two to three passes. On the last pass, it's usually fairly quick. Alright, I'm just going to close this out as that is the basics of optimizing your drive. Alright, now the last thing you can do, there's a nice little program out there. It is called Disk Cleanup or CC Cleaner. Both of these are free. Um, I will be posting the link in the description. Be sure to check them both out. Alright, and this ends it for today's tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. This has been Sean from Cross Industries. Be sure to check out more tutorials at our website, www.cross.com.